So we have put our 17 surviving Muscovy ducks out of 30. Uh, don't ask, it's, it's a sad story. We put them with the cows. Um, they're starting to turn black on their heads. They're starting to develop that red, I don't know what you call it, the flesh on top of their bill. And this calf is curious, number 11. So she was uh, poking at him. But right now we're just gently hurting them. They're seeing the grasshoppers and they're chasing them down. I have some food for them set up outside of the area. I don't want the cows or the sheep to get to the food, so we put it quite a ways away. And I just got hit by a grasshopper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she got surprised by my kids. We're just trying to gently herd them towards the food. We introduced them to the water. We dumped them in the water. They made a mess. Um, we put a cinder block so they can get out if they get stuck in there. Some of them couldn't climb out. Yeah, just herd them very slowly. There's no rush. I want them to kind of get used to the cows and get used to the grasshoppers out here. Anyway, we're still in uh, D2, drought level 2, and it's expected to continue even with the recent rain. Like a week ago, we got about half an inch. And we've had cloudy days, the humidity's up, but no, I don't want them to go that way. They're chasing grasshoppers. Wherever the grasshoppers leave them, I hope, they're, I hope they don't go under the wire. That's 10,000 volts there on the bottom wire. It will get zapped. Yeah, this way, guys. Uh, so you notice blood on their feathers? Um, what's been going on is I had them behind chicken poultry netting. Yeah, this guy slipped underneath. He's going to get zapped. I assume the fence is on. Is the fence on, Eliana? We'll find out here in a second. No, it is on. Yeah, it was popping, right? So if that duck crosses the fence and touches the wire, he's going to get zapped. Uh, predators, we have dogs, and I have not lost any chickens or ducks to any predators that I could tell. There was one time I thought I lost a duck. The duck was just nesting in a part I couldn't find her. Season. There's another one that went underneath the fence there. Get zapped, get zapped, learn your lesson. Yeah, now third one. They're chasing down those grasshoppers. Just Yeah, just get behind them. They'll kind of move forward following the grasshoppers. Anyway, what's there? I'm told that these Muscovy ducks, when the cows are lying down, they will climb on the back of the cow and eat the flies off the back of the cow, which is one of the reasons why I got them. I'm also doing parasitic wasps. I uh, subscribe to the bug logical system. Um, I don't know what it would be like if I didn't do it. Uh, the flies are always different depending on the weather, but I think compared to last year, there's a lot fewer flies. So I think we're we're good. Are they tired? You think they're just trying to take a nap? Now the Muscovy ducks uh, did not seem to be affected by the heat as much as the other poultry. Get out of there. Yeah. Look over there. Does that duck know that that fence is dangerous? Come on, get over. They, uh, they get tunnel vision when they're hunting grasshoppers, and they would slip out of the poultry net. Oh, about their feathers. Yeah, they would slip out of the poultry net, and their young feathers were coming in. Yeah, it didn't get zapped. And they were rubbing the, the young feathers on the poultry net, which was causing them to bleed. Yeah, and so there's quite a bit of bleeding. Um, and we just recently moved them. We used a net to catch them, so I think that caused them more bleeding. Just a catfish net. Yeah. Which I find is nice. So the cows aren't scared of the ducks. The ducks don't seem to be scared of the cows. They're introducing themselves to each other. What? Yeah, they're still chirping. I, I just can't believe it. I, sometimes they quack, but they're really quiet. They're just following grasshoppers. <laughs> Did you get that one? There it goes. Yeah, he got him. Now chickens, when they catch a grasshopper, they fight over it. But these ducks don't seem to do that. As soon as one catches it, that's it. So, 
And I'm told that these guys can actually forage. They can get all their food from forage. But I wanted to introduce them to their feed. I'm trying to herd them, but they're following the wind and the grasshoppers. Guys, can you come to this side? Let's try to push them towards the food. I want to show them where their food is at. Because I want them to grow big and strong. We're trying to push them towards the food. So let's just keep pushing them that way. Just slowly, we're not rushing them. We're not scaring them. So these guys are still babies. They're big babies. They're the biggest birds I have. I think they're even heavier than my broilers. My broilers are almost ready to harvest. Uh, they're heavier than the geese. The geese look bigger, but the geese are actually light for their size because they can fly. So we have to trim their feathers. I don't know if we have to trim these guys' feathers. I think we do. But they seem to be doing a pretty good job themselves, doing their own feathers. So I think we will at some point, um, when they're older, uh, trim their feathers. Eliana, one's getting behind you on the right. Yeah. I just don't want them chasing mosquitoes past you. So just kind of remind them that we're going a certain direction. So the cows don't seem to be scared of them. I was worried because I heard cows will eat chicks. Uh, they don't seem to be eating these guys. They do seem to be hot. You can see their bills are open and they're breathing heavy. And uh, there's our friendly little sheep, the one we've been torturing lately. Hello. Oh, she doesn't want to play. She's hungry. Um, I think I am going to get a thousand pounds of feed and probably feed them 100 to 150 pounds a day, the cows. So, and that'll supplement the protein bucket that we already have and the straw, this, this grass, there's nothing in there. Over there, Dave. Yeah. There, you got another one. You got another one. They're committing grasshopper genocide for me, which... Uh, you don't mind. I don't mind. I'm trying to grow grass, so if the grasshoppers eat dead grass and poop out nutrients, I'm fine with that. Um, what are you, that's an egg. You found an egg? A tiny little quail Are you serious? I think that's an egg. Unless it's a rock and I'm dumb. It looks like an egg. I think it's a rock. What is it's a rock. There's probably a grasshopper on the fence. You want to keep that rock? Yeah, rock. Quail eggs are bigger. I know because I used to eat them in Korea. Come on guys. This way. The green plants you're seeing are almost entirely goat weed. Um, oh, look at that. That duck snatched the goat, probably trying to get a bug. Right? Come on, let's go. Come on, little buddy. Yeah, so hopefully without nets, they won't be scratching their flight feathers anymore. And they won't be bleeding like this. And hopefully they'll help to keep the fly population down. Uh, at the very least, they might be fairly tasty if they turn out, turn out not to be useful. So, these guys are growing fast. So. They're growing fast and big. Almost there, buddies. We've gone like 220 feet. I know you're not used to moving long distances because you're used to being in a pen. But this is your freedom. This is your future. And if I had a pond with water in it, you'd be able to go to the pond, clean yourselves off. You just have a, a water trough from the cows. Let's go. Hey, check those ones over there. Those I'll ones are fine. I'll watch this one. All right, see you guys later.